How did the co-writing process go? It's funny because when we was actually writing, I mean, there's a, quite a few few songs on there that are very much like, listen, Giza, if you don't get this right, then you've had it. And because obviously we're working in a, in a predominantly male environment, they're like that. <gasps> you can't say it. It's like, well, listen to the first and second album, love, and then you'll get the idea. We have to put they this down. They weren't having it at this all. Is what, this is how it goes. Oh, you can't tell a man to do that. Oh, yes, we can. <laughs> but then we decided to do a real love one, didn't we? Yeah, which is the first time we've done first that. First time ever. And I'll tell you what we did, which was really good. We all went off into our own corner and wrote down what our version of love is. And then we came together. We all had our song, own though. melodies and that's how that song was written. Actually, looking back, we were kind of at different stages and now we've all <laughs> moved on again and it's like... <laughs> I wasn't in love there, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> I wonder about the message in the song, Let Love Lead the Way. Can you tell me anything about that? The message is that there is so much, like, there is horrible things going on out, outside the world and um, you have to watch it every day and stuff like that. But for us, we just kind of it's let... Little, you have to let girl. love, you know take you like to wherever you want to go yeah. yeah and believe in yourself and and trust yourself and kind of go with it and try and wash them other horrible but things that, away and I, i'll tell you what i also like about that song is it does openly say well what if that happens or what if that happens you know where will i be and the chorus is the kind of just let love lead the way this vibe. girl that you sing about in let love lead the way can you tell me who is she when we were writing that, there was nobody in mind. I think we started originally writing that about a homeless person, didn't we? Mm, yeah. Originally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think it's like, it, it could be anyone. You know, it's something that we, we all do sometimes. We're feeling lonely and we can look out and see all the... I mean, it's something that we have all felt. It's like, you know, you switch on the TV and you see all the death and destruction on the news and you just think, you know, why? Why, why is the world like this? And when you're very young and you, because you, your innocence and naivety, and then when you find, start finding out all the horrible things about the world, it just really lets you down, doesn't it? So that's what it's about, really. Just hoping that love will lead you to um, better places and better things. What's the memory that you always keep with you from uh, shooting the video for Let Love Lead the Way? One of my fondest memories of Let Love Lead the Way was we we finished everything but I was water, we all take on different elements. I was watering that one. So it was about I think it was about 10 pm on the second day of shooting and I had to get soaking wet. And uh, and it wasn't a pleasant thing. It was cold water. And they had to change the camera scenes as well. So, and I mean, I was fully clothed. I had like a vest, trousers, boots, big boots up to here on and I was drenched and I had to wait 10 minutes sitting there. At 10 o'clock at night, waiting for them to move the cameras. So that's that's the fun of videos. In the two videos that we've seen so far, which elements do the four of you represent? In Holla. In Holla, I'm water. Water. And Mel is fire. fire. Let love. I'm earth. I'm... Wind. I'm air. Air. <laughs> she used to say wind. I'm... <laughs> <laughs> Bit of wind. I'm an airhead. <laughs> and the whole thing about, I think, when we came up with the ideas was that, you know, even though we are different elements and we are very, you know, different people, when we come together, we, you know, we're the same and it works fantastic. And we're individuals, but when we come together, it just goes right into place. It's like Feng Shui, you need all four elements to feel comfortable. Can you tell me something about what songs on this new album will get the people really, really going on the dance floor? Let me tell ya. Yeah, yeah. That's the one. That's the one. That's the one. I love that one. That's the one. All of them. I think all of them. I think, do you know what? Because the album is so dancey and stompy, it is. The crowd, I think, would really enjoy it and have a good boogie. My mum's got a favourite one. What's that one, mum, that you like that you just have to dance to? She went, it's the one where you see a guy from across the room, you're at an after if party. You have some fun, drop me down and get the love. Mama Mott turns it up and goes like that. <laughs> 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 All right, so which one of you came up with the pretty daring song, Weekend Love? It was something we all came up with, wasn't it? We all sat down and it's like, because it's, it's just putting the boot on the other foot, really. 
because it's always the girl who's doing the ringing, when we'll see you again, and all that. And we thought, no, this time, you know, we want to be the ones in control. The guy is gagging for it. She's not interested. Weekend love, that's all you was. Yeah. Move on. That's it. Pack your bags, next one in. Guys think the bees knees anyway, so I think, you know, us girls have got to big ourselves up. So that's what it's all about, girls. Guys are too confident. Have your vocal abilities developed a lot on this album? I think we, we all worked so hard on the vocals this time and also working with American producers. They challenge you. They push you to the limit, do you know what I mean? Which is great because we're learning as well. <laughs> so many times it'd go, right, I've got a really diva -y lick for you to do, which is all that quabbling stuff. Before he'd even sung it to us, a few of us were like, no, no we're not doing can't that. Do that. Can't. But then by the end of it, it's like, yeah, 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 I want to sing like this. And you kind of just go for it. And the album is really strong and it is the first time the four of us have done an album together. I mean, the last two albums have been with five of us. So yeah. we've had a chance to really concentrate and all four of us sing, you know, properly. Yeah. I just think now it's like we really do egg each other on more now. Because I used to be able to cop out and go, I can't do high. I just can't sing high. Whereas and I'd have to like, do it. But now I'm like, no, on. Melanie, go and do and it. And you've been singing low. Yeah. We kind of mixed and matched and swapped it out a bit. It's been good. How do you split up these vocals? How do you divide the parts? Usually when we're writing, it's it's quite obvious. We kind of even write for each other, don't we? We sort of know, you know, whose voice is going to suit the best because we are all quite different in the, you know, in the way that we sound. We've got quite diverse voices, so it usually just falls into place. I hope people can even just listen on the radio and they know who's who. I don't know whether that's a bit naive to think no, that I they think do. That, but... I think that they can, because I think we all sound very, very different. You know, we yeah. all really complement each other. Can the four of you still lead somewhat of a normal life? I can imagine it must be hard. I don't think you can get more normal than what we yeah, do. Yeah, we're totally... I, I mean, outside of performing and interviews and all that business. I think you either make your life where you can't go down the road. A recluse. Get your, your milk and stuff like that. Whereas we, you know, we just go out. And especially once you go out in your little village and people get to know you, they're like, oh, it's her again. Well, <laughs> so, fine. So it's fine and, you know, perfect. I think as well, because even though we take what we do seriously, we actually... I mean, when, I mean, when we see each other on TV, it's like, <laughs> we're, it's actually yeah. quite amazing and funny. So we don't take ourselves that seriously where we're that um, secluded within our own, I don't know, celebrity image. You know, what you see is what you get with all of us. Exactly. Apart from the first thing on a morning, we look really... Actually, you look good in the morning. I know, I don't. No, you do I look got, good in the morning. I get at the moment. I look frightening, but I do a no, good just... before and after. <laughs> <laughs> we do makeovers. Arenda, <laughs> my final question. The album is called Forever. Now, what does that title mean to you? People are always saying we're going to split up, we're going to split up, and we're going to be around for a long time. So I think people forget, as a group, we're not only friends and Spice Girls, we have a business together. We're business partners, and we advise each other, and we constantly support each other. Yeah. So there's all that involved into what we are to each other professionally and personally. But, and that and kind also of overlaps. as friends, do you know what I mean? That is that is one of the main things forever because we're, we're friends. Whether, you know, we don't do another album for a while, it doesn't mean we're not Spice Girls and together. There's a lot of connotations to the title, but one that, you know, that I really liked was, you know, even in years to come, maybe the Spice Girls <laughs> won't be around, you know? But what we've done and what we've achieved, we've made history and no one can take that, that away from us. So, you know, no one's going to forget what's been done. So Spice Girls, you know, hopefully the memory will live on forever. And of course, just to say that we will be together forever. If we're not making music together, we'll be, you know, the Spice Girls are going to be around forever. All right. Thank you very much and good luck with forever. This is the Music Factory.